so the seventh sale, and we've, we've got a record gross for, for a merino sale in Australia, which is a great credit to you know to, to Nigel and Clayton and all the staff here. Um, a great mix of, of all the old clients, you know, very strong support from from all the old clients who buy a lot of rams here. But so a lot of new faces here today too, and I haven't read back through the sheet yet or anything, but a lot of new new people buying rams. Um, there's no doubt that there's big interest in the Kieran Pole program that the ASBVs for, for growth and for fleece weight, you know, are very, very high. They're in the top, you know, 5% or something or 10% in Australia for, for fleece weights and, and for growth. So that's attracting people too. And when you look at the way the sheep are presented, you know, just visually they're big, they're long, they're heavy, and they're cutting a lot of wool. Uh, basically, um, I like what I've heard of their fertility, even though our fertility is fairly good. Um, his is obviously a bit better again, and uh, and with the fertility and the lamb attributes of his, uh, uh, obviously of his sons of these rams, uh, are what attracted me originally. And uh, I came uh, to his open day last year and liked what I saw, and came back, purchased a couple of rams, took a little bit of flack from some of my friends, saying that those sheep are going to. Uh, uh, reduce your wool cut. Uh, I was expecting maybe a little bit of um, loss of wool cut. The reverse was the effect uh, with the rams that uh, they were uh, number two and number three in our stud for, for wool weight. Um, so that was very pleasing. So you can imagine I've paid out on some of my friends. So, um, yeah, 289 sheep, none passed in. Um, yeah, that's extremely hard to do, doesn't matter where you go. To, if you only sell on 29, it's hard not to have rams pass in, let alone 290. And to find so few faults uh, in any of the sheep with the wool quality that they've got and the carcass qualities as well. Um, it's simply amazing and I've just got to pay uh, tribute to Nigel and Kate for the work they've done and uh, they've believed in themselves, backed themselves and uh, I'm backing them. Here, essentially. I'm here because because Nigel's um, progressively chasing all, all the all the right things in, in the merino sheep, basically, and um, um, we're getting results at home from his sheep. We Can you get, go into a bit of detail about that. Just lambs on the ground, basically, and and, and, and early maturing of the sheep. Yeah, fantastic growth rates out of our lambs. Our wool cuts are great. So, yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're a great, they're a great, they're just a great fit for our operation. Not, you know, we, this is probably our first good winter since we've been on Karen. We've had him for five years, been on Karen for five years. This is our first good winter. And, um, you know, we're probably looking at 120% of lambs on the ground. Um, they, they just grow so quickly. From a base where well, we, we've come from possibly around an 80% lambing to, to the last few years 100% lambing and this year we should be marking close to 120% of lambs. Different. Yeah, well, no, we, we're not losing wool cuts. We haven't had a good season to really achieve the wool cuts that our sheep can do. This year we will and, and I'm guessing they'll be averaging close to six, 7 kilos of wool this year. So. Um, we, we, we saw our ewe lambs this year at uh, I think eight, eight months and, and they cut just under four kilos then so um, and that's, that's with a, not a fantastic couple of months in that, in that growing period so yeah. The depth and the quality was, was the thing that, in, that impressed a lot of the buyers. Um, just the trueness, the type. So, you know, like the lot number one, right through to 289, it was, there was sheep there for everybody. Look, having, having six sires, the whole draft by six sires, um, the investment into ET et and AI, um, you know, definitely showed that trueness to type through the whole lot. Um, 289 lots. Um, buyers commented on how even they were. Um, you know, the investments being put into the, uh, into the genetics and, that, and he was rewarded today. Well, what a result that was. Started at one o'clock and we uh, sold 289 rams in two hours and 10 minutes. Um, for a fantastic result and it was just great to see um, people putting a lot of faith in what we're doing with our sheep and um, 
a result as big as this one allows us just to invest a whole heap more money back into what we do and that's just um, a never-ending process of improving the genetic package that which we offer. In this year's sale team we had uh, 54 rams in the top 1% for post weaning weight and I think when you really boil it all down, the new clients that have turned up today, the one thing they're looking at is improving the growth rates of their existing merinos and dealing with us to develop their merinos into a, a, an entire package rather than crossing over into a terminal sire or a um, composite type sheep. The misconception with um, fast maturing plain bodied merinos is there's compromise with fleece weight. And in this year's sale team, the entire team are in the top 5% for yearling greasy fleece weight, which is 20.8 in this year's sale team average. So anyway, it's been a great result. I hope we can better it again next year. It turns it into an enjoyable experience when you've got the backing that we've got this year. And I'd just like to thank all our clients, underbidders, overbidders, anyone that bidded. Thank you very much for showing support in what we do. Thank you.